right, hey, good morning, guys. Hey, this is Rod Father, Hang on High Sport Fishing. We're uh, getting uh, all of our equipment together today. We're getting some, uh, a lot of our Shimano Talicas serviced. Getting ready for the upcoming Red Snapper grouper offshore season. That kicks off June 1st, so we're gonna run these down here to a Shimano dealer and get them cleaned up, serviced, any parts replaced ready for the season. We're taking our uh, new 2020 GMC 3500 Denali. This is from one of our sponsors, Eagle Buick in Crystal River, Omasasa. So we got a lot of places to go today. We're gonna roll up the young boats. We gotta pick up some new Simrad screens. Then we'll show you what's going on there. We're actually adding several boats to our fleet and we're doing a, a uh, upgrade on our 2018 42. So stay tuned. Guys, we're gonna go into Young Boats. Uh, we're gonna pick up our Simrad equipment. We've got to get uh, some 12 inch screens, Evo 3s, for our 25 Saber Cat. And we're putting dual screens in the uh, 33 World Cat. And we also got to pick up a 9 for the uh, redo, uh, big upgrade on the uh, 2018 42 Freeman. I'm sure you guys are excited about that. We're gonna go in here and see these guys at Young, get this taken care of, and then head south to uh, Coast to Coast Marine. Evo 12, Evo 3 12 inch screens. We're gonna take these, load them up, and uh, just getting all of our supplies together, man. Simrad is one of our sponsors. They take the best care of us because they have the best electronics in the business. We couldn't do our job if we didn't have these. So, we get all this loaded up, head down to Coast to Coast Marine. All right, we're getting ready to roll in here to. Uh, Tarpon Outfitters. They're an authorized uh, Shimano dealer, and uh, they also have a very good guy that does the repairs, Victor. So we're gonna run in here, drop off, uh, we bring in a big selection of our uh, Shimano Talica 25s, 20s, and a few 16s. We're gonna have to make several trips to get all ready for uh, Grouper Red Snapper season, but we're gonna drop these off so they can get this in the repair process, get them clean, lubed, you know, just going through everything. Just, you know, it's that, it's that maintenance time of the year, getting ready for the for the big bite. While all the other guys are out, you know, being fish killers, somebody's gotta do the work and, and get ready for this, you know. So that's that's uh that's what the rod father does. Oh, by the way, it's the first day of snook season, so there will be uh, some snook, I'm sure on the cleaning table later today. If you guys ever wondered what a 30 something thousand dollar for the reels look like, this is it. guys some of the new additions we got the new saber cap we're going to show you that we're still uh chris and his guys are rigging out we've got a 2006 33 world cat uh tournament edition uh we're gonna need that just because we're so booked up on uh, offshore charters great boat but hanging new suzukes on it 300s new simrad equipment uh put a new lumar windlass on it pro fish 1000 uh so uh anyway of course gonna be putting uh gonna be putting jl stereo in uh in all three boats and uh, we got a lot of good stuff going on. And we're getting ready, you know, have some great boats so we can catch some big fish, have some fun this summer, man. Yeah, so this is our new uh, 33 World Cat right here. Uh, it's an 06. Uh, we're going to be taking it and uh, we're going to be repowering it with, like I said, twin 300 Suzuki's, put new Simrad electronics in it, JL stereo, uh, going through all the pumps and everything. Gonna get it right for the uh, start of snapper season, grouper season, June 1st. Chris, right now, it's scheduled to be done about the 1st of May, maybe a little sooner. And here's the new 300s. These are the new white ones. Awesome. Great motors. These things have been super dependent. 
dependable for it. So right now we're just gonna go through it, get everything updated. You see we're taking all the old equipment off of it, all the old 2006 electronics, and we're putting all, uh, all new gear, all new Simrad electronics on it. Now we're gonna run down here, we're in uh, Coast Coast Marine, we're gonna walk down here and look at our 2018-42 Freeman. Uh, what we're doing on this boat, we're uh, giving it some updates. So we're gonna go through it. Uh, you know, uh, we're gonna put dual row seating in. So this was a single row boat because in 2018 they didn't make dual rows. So our customers liked it so much. Of course, hang them high. Customers always first, man. We're trying to take care of our customers, make sure they're comfortable. So what we're doing here, we're putting dual row in this. We're putting pomponette seats in it. Great seats, awesome seats. So uh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a great looking ride. You can just see if we got a ladder, we'll hop up in here. Check this out. Uh, last week they had the T-top fitted on. They uh, Chris's guys, excellent fiberglass work. They took our T-top and they stretched it, and then also they uh, did the pipe work, sent it out. We got the pipe work redone where it was stretched for the same length. We can go dual row, but now that's all been sent down. Linex in Sarasota. And hopefully, the plan is that Linex is going to have our T top uh, pipe work back to us on Wednesday. So, okay, two days from now, this one will start going back in there. So, let's uh, grab a ladder, see if we can hop up in the boat, take a look at the dual row seating, show you guys what we're doing here. So, let's just see what we've done here. We've taken it, we did the flat back look. Same as what we did on our 2020. We came in. Chris made Chris guys did the pedestal. We did that. Put dual rows in here. Same, same color theme as our other 42 to 2020. So it's all coming together right now. We're taking this off, we're taking our rear leaning. We're redoing this upholstery, redoing the bolster that's all being done by Pompanet. So like I say. Excellent seat manufacturer, high quality, and they get it done on time. Yep, so uh, what we do, we'll be bringing you guys back out here probably in about two weeks or so. Once we get the hard top fitted back on, you can see how the boat's coming along, see how it's looking. Again, this boat, we're uh, planning on having it back May 1. That gives us about a month to shake it down. All right, guys, now we're going to just get off this boat, and we're going to head back in the back right now, we can go take a look at our brand new Saber Cat. It's a 25 foot Saber Cat. It's made by Gulf Coast Marine in uh, Texas, out of Houston. I'm going to show you this. So, what happened? I saw this boat online. I actually talked to one of our uh, Suzuki this, for the state of Texas, uh, Randy Bowers. We was talking to him. Hey, man, what do you know about this boat, this, this Saber Cat? And he said, very cool boat. So, anyway, uh, it's made to go, basically we call it, the, it's a 60 and 6. 60 miles an hour, 6 inches of water. That's what this boat's supposed to do. So here you go. It's made by Gulf Coast Boats. It's a Saber Cat. We went with kind of our basic color scheme. As you see a lot of our boats, we do the white, the grays. We like that look. Keep it simple, keep it clean. Okay, this boat will get a wrap on it, a hang them high wrap. Of course, we went with Suzuki. We put a 300 on it, 20 inch shaft motor. Went with the white one. We got the Bob's jack plate on it. Uh, like I say all the numbers that the Chad at Saber Cat has gotten out of it, they've been getting right around 58, 60, 62 out of it, okay? Great boat. 60 gallon fuel tank. You'll see it. We'll be, we'll be bringing you guys back to look at this as we put it together. That's why some of the Simrads were here. Uh, we've already spoke to uh, Dometic, the guys at Dometic, Shane and Lori. Uh, we're going to be getting uh, elect electric steering Optimus, full electric steering for this boat and for the uh, 33 World Cat. All right. This boat, as you can see, it's got the cat. Take a look at the bottom. So, I mean, this thing is just going to ride on a cushion of air again. And, it, and it's not going to steer crazy. It's, going, it, it's very, very stable at speed. That's one of the cool things about it. Some of the mods that you don't see yet. Well, we're doing a little custom. I kind of mod, kind of a customization. We're going to put we're going to put dual pompanet seats here on the front, and have 
the plan is either we're going to put drawers underneath it uh, with teak aisle, or we're going to go with, uh, we might even put a cooler underneath it. We're looking at that. This is definitely going to be a cooler here underneath this seating station, and that'll be uh, two pompanettes again, two captain chairs. So we'll have four captain's chairs out there. We're going to have a fold-up bench in the back, fold down, so it's to be comfortable for the customers again. We really like the depth of the, of the gunnels on this boat. Again, some of the Texas boats are really short. We like a little bit of height, you know, just as that more security for our customers. Again, fast boat, great looking lines. Uh, we think it's gonna be an awesome boat, and we're hoping to put more of these in our fleet. Again, trout, redfish, snook, you can get back one of them in this. All right, went with power poles back here again. We run power poles on all of our boats. Another, gr another great product. You know, we put the eight foot blades on here in black. Again, this black, white, gray theme. We think it looks really sharp, really clean. And we'll put a 12 inch Simrad on this. JL stereo on it. It's gonna be a kicking boat. Again, we're hoping right around, maybe a little sooner. Hopefully we can get this one out mid-April so we can start tweaking it. But if not, you know, as long as we're in that, you know, mid-April, first, you know, first of May, we're in good shape. And all this work again is being done here at Coast to Coast Marine. Chris's guys are very, you know, it's, it's busy. It's that time. Everybody's getting ready for fishing season. All right, man. We uh, checked out all the boats, make sure everything was going well. Dropped off the Simrad Electronics. Talked to Chris, went over all of our list of uh, parts we need to finish getting these boats rigged out. Worked on the schedule with him. And uh, actually, we also picked up our 34 trailer. They had to jack up the 33 Whirlcat, got it off there so we could use it because we have to go pull the uh, 34. Uh, Jacob Brown's going to run a lot of charters on it, so we've got to do an oil change. And that's what we're going to do tonight, get that knocked out. You know, do an oil change, lower unit gear case oil. Uh, just check everything out on make sure all the mounting bolts are tight and everything. You know, standard 100-hour service on it. We're going to do that tonight. We're also going to do Hunters. He's got his uh, 25 Young custom with the 300 on it his bay boat so we'll be also servicing that one tonight with drew stalker our mechanic and uh anyway so now we're heading back to crystal river just rolling along and uh it's been a good day man got a lot of good stuff done try to keep these boys fishing killing fish bring them to the dock man all right have a great